I often mention the Russian invaders' problems with artillery, lack of ammunition, shortage of tanks, and so on. But if everything is clear when it comes to artillery, no artillery means no life, and everything seems to be clear with tanks, then the dependence on armored fighting vehicles is not disclosed. At the moment almost all units of the Russian occupation troops do not have a complete set of these very armored fighting vehicles. They are medium and lightly armored vehicles used both for transporting infantry and providing fire support for it. But, an important point is that it is mobile equipment, having some, but armor, protecting the personnel from defeat. Battalion Tactical Group should have 33 armored vehicles, but in reality the occupant's complement consists of 18 to 21 armored vehicles, if you're lucky. You may think this is some kind of triviality, but no. 33 armored vehicles are mobile medium, and lightly armored transports for 165 to 230 paratroopers, and sometimes much more when stuffed like sprats in a can. That is, providing armor for several hundred assault troops, under small arms and artillery fire. But there is a critical shortage of armor, and it is necessary to advance, because Putin needs even a local victory, for example in the Donbass. He really wants an epic victory on the anniversary of the shameful invasion of Ukraine. On Kiev to attack guaranteed will not work, but to occupy a dozen villages in the Donetsk direction, what a tempting plan. However, for Putin this plan may end with the fact that, firstly, it will destroy a huge human resource. Secondly, the combat-ready tank component will be finally leveled. Thirdly, the armored vehicles are already in minimum quantity, and will become even less. In other words, for the occupants the offensive equals demilitarization. For example, in March 2022 losses among the Russian troops were many times less, because each unit had a standard number of armored vehicles. Thus, in March there were 4 to 5 destroyed occupants per 1 destroyed armored vehicles. In January 2023, there were 72 occupiers for every one armored vehicles destroyed. Feel the difference and remember the pointless meat waves with no vehicle cover that we have seen recently. Armored vehicles are a very important element in an offensive, and any assault action. They protect personnel not only from small arms, but also from the shrapnel impact of artillery, allowing them to cover distances much faster and conduct assault actions more effectively. But the Russian army has a catastrophic shortage of armored vehicles if we consider their proportional distribution across units. That is why the increase in losses compared to March to April 2022 is gigantic. And now, the most interesting part. The massive offensive that the Russian forces are planning. How do you think it will end if the advancing side does not have enough artillery support, does not have the necessary number of tanks, there is a severe shortage of armored vehicles. And it will end, if it starts, with a new record of losses. Therefore, artillery with artillery, tanks with tanks, but the absence of armored vehicles during the offensive is suicide for those units that will be thrown into the field without armor. But, as we know, the Russian command does not count losses, continuing the demilitarization of the Russian army.